Hi YouTube, my name's Pam and this is my 999 day journey. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here. As I was recording this morning's vlog, I decided on the spot that I would um, incorporate Lent into uh, my health goals. Today is Fat Tuesday, um, a day when many people party it up because tomorrow, being Ash Wednesday, begins the season of Lent. So as I was thinking about that this morning, I decided on the spot that I would um, make some changes to my diet during the season of Lent that will help me reach my health goals on, uh, on my journey. So I thought it might be fun to issue a challenge to anybody who's watching to encourage you to join me on this. So it doesn't have to be health related. Um, it could be anything, you know, if your goal is to uh, put more money in the bank, maybe during Lent, you could commit to um, saving $10 a week. Or if your goal is to get more sleep, uh, perhaps you could commit during Lent to um, going to bed at a particular time every night. Or if your goal is to spend less time on social media, perhaps you could commit to staying off your phone during meal times or um, not scrolling through your phone. And I know this is a hard one, not scrolling through your phone at bedtime. Um, lots of different things. Again, it doesn't just have to be uh, health or diet related. So think about in your life um, what your goals are. Think about in this season of Lent, what you can be uh, really intentional about, what you need to, to, where you need to focus your energies. And think about what sort of change you could make or what sort of new habit you could form that will help you along the way on your journey. For me personally, since my focus is on my health right now, um, I will commit during Lent to cutting out added sugar in my diet. So, I already drink coffee black, which is good with nothing in it. Tea, hot chocolate, apple cider, all of those things I love to have super, super sweet. Uh, I'm going to cut all of the added sugar out of those. That means I won't be making hot chocolate at all. That means I'll be having my tea with no sugar in it and no honey. I know, no added sweeteners of any kind. So that also means giving up foods uh, that have added sugar as well. So no cookies, no cakes, you get the picture. Um, but because it's only added sugars, I can have things like fruit. So, um, you know, things that are naturally sweet, I can keep in my diet. That's good because I'll eat a whole lot of apples <laughs> um, and strawberries or whatever happens to be available over the next six weeks. So, um, I will be doing a weekly check-in and uh, keep you posted on my progress. I hope that you will check in as well, uh, watch those videos, and um, maybe in the comments, let me know how you're doing with your challenge. I would be honored to help support you on your journey as well. Um, I won't be taking any cheat days, uh, or I don't intend to take any cheat days. Uh, my intention is to do this every single day over the next six weeks. But if you choose to join me, you manage your journey the way that makes the most sense for you. Lent runs through Thursday, April 1st, and then Friday, April 2nd, which is Good Friday, um, Lent is over and you can resume your old activities if you would like to, or, um, you know, maybe, maybe you'll find that um, whatever change you've made is something that you'd like to keep and incorporate uh, going forward. But um, having this dedicated six week period of time will really help to add a level of uh, purpose and intentionality to it that uh, hopefully will, will help you meet your goals going forward. That is the challenge. If you accept, please, please, please let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate that. I love hearing from you. Also, if you're on a health journey of your own, I encourage you to um, come on over to my fitness pal. Uh, that application is a great free tool to help you manage your fitness goals. I am not sponsored by them um, in any way, shape, or form. It's just a tool that I happen to enjoy using. That'll do it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to join me on this challenge. I hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, whatever time of day you're watching, and I will talk with you tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. 
I appreciate you. Bye-bye.